My name is Robert, and I am the project manager of the Harvard University rover team. Over 20 undergraduates and I have been working on a Mars rover for the University Rover Challenge over the past year. Collectively, we have 75 years of experience in robotics, and to best organize our various abilities, we split into four sub-teams, Rover Design, Rover EE, Rover CS, and Rover Builders. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce you to our rover. Instead of the wheels you may expect on a rover of this kind, we decided to give ours legs, based on the R-Hex design that was developed at Penn and is currently being utilized by Boston Dynamics. A lot of people ask us why we chose legs. First, legs provide us with a greater mobility in climbing and maneuvering in all types of terrain. Second, the legs that we are using are going to be made of carbon fiber and a nylon composite, which allows them to be incredibly strong while also being extremely lightweight. Thirdly, the natural elasticity of the C-shaped legs allows them to absorb a lot of the impact as the rover is walking and climbing. This in turn allows us to greatly simplify our chassis to create a more durable and elegant design while decreasing weight. If you take a look at our chassis, we're using carbon fiber tubes with 3D printed joints and carbon reinforced panels. I'm handing it over to John to provide some more details on the competition tasks. So our rover is comprised of many different electrical subsystems. These include things like the sensory caches, the motor drivers, the communications array, the main controllers. All of these are designed to work fully autonomously and separately from one another to ensure that we have a robust framework to build off of. For the autonomous portion of the competition, we use an ultra-precise GPS with RTK technology, which with the help of our GPS ground station, can calculate its precise position to sub-centimeter level accuracy. And for obstacle avoidance, we use a LiDAR sensor that is continuously sweeping in a 180 degree cone in front of the rover with which we can detect any insurmountable obstacle within 20 meters of the rover. Alongside these systems and our novel drivetrain and leg design, we're really enabled to navigate over any sort of harsh terrain without any human input and stay incredibly close to desired trajectories. For the retrieval task, we want to ensure that we have the proper systems to complete the task adequately. To do this, we design our system with extremely high torque leg motors and incredibly powerful arm motors as well that allow us to retrieve incredibly large payloads and transport them quickly to their destination. For the equipment servicing task, similar to other tasks, we want to make sure we're approaching it from the right angle. To do this, we design an extremely dexterous robotic arm with six axes of rotational freedom with finely controllable servo motors. With these motors, we can have very precise movement in the arm and switch on or off extremely small levers and switches. Thanks for watching, and remember for this rover, every day is leg day.